this would end in disaster, you have been transported to a planet interior, never to find your way out again, and you will die here. Ha! I was right. All right, Hive. No need to be so happy about it. Does anyone read me? Hmm. No response. Where the heck are we? Let's just take a little look around and see if there's a way out. She tricked you. The blue alien has achieved its deception. I'm pretty sure that's not what happened, Hive. There must have been a miscalibration somehow. I mean, I did change location at least, and I am in one piece. Hey, you know what? The wildlife in here is familiar. I'll be damned if I'm not somewhere back in the Kaid Nebula. The blue alien will have morphed into its true hideous self and consumed all of your companions by now. Seriously, I get a grip. I didn't know you were imbued with so much imagination. I am only stating possibilities. You are enjoying my predicament way too much. At least the radio silence gives me some time to think about things. I mean, none of this is how I expected it to turn out. You know what I'm talking about, Hive? I have not the foggiest. I feel things have changed. All I cared about to start with was getting out of the DMZ, but I only seem to be becoming more embroiled in it. You are certainly deeply entangled in the political intrigues of the region, although I am certain you could still extricate yourself. Yeah, sure, but to what end? What would be the consequences of that? The more I think about it, the more I realize that my commitments are here. In the Beltagrades. In the DMZ. I'm afraid a load of Viridium might get me back to the homeworlds and in a very luxurious condition. But would I really be happy with myself? Happiness. Oh, dear. Every philosophical discussion with a human always comes to this. You know what, Hive? More existential musings. Will it be like this until you starve to death? There's a way out of here. I'm sure of it. But no matter what happens next, all I know is that I can't let my friends down. I have the feeling they're all counting on me. I just can't figure out what the right thing to do is at this juncture.
Things are looking up, Hive. I think I see light at the end of the tunnel. So soon. Humans often mention such a thing when they are near the end. No, I'm not speaking metaphorically. I really think I see a way out. Huh, look at that. It's where we picked up Kala and Eduardo. Anyone back at base reading me? There you are, Clico. Something went wrong. You're telling me, Kala. We ended up right next to your escape pod. Ah, Toka. I think I know the reason. There are no other rips or connections yet, except for the ones on my ship. Adam. I believe this may have been caused by the lack of reference points in the cluster. Kala seems to have expected there to be other points. The experiment sent you to your present location because there was a very slight reference signal emanating from the cube within the escape pod Kala traveled in. If you can retrieve it, we will be able to calibrate a more exact travel and create more reference points where we go. Okay, let's try that. If we can get this to work without being transported into a sun's core, this tech could really be a game changer. This works a bit like the Einstein-Rosen bridge. Toka, it's not a bridge, but a fold. Or a rip, Clico. We'll get there. But right now, I think I'll have to use conventional means to reach the Commissioner's location. I've left her hanging. I bet she'll be pissed. This fast travel technology is too promising to pass up. Let's try to open up some routes, or rips, when we assemble the parts we need. You are seriously going to attempt that folly again? It might just be the insurance we need to get out of the DMZ if everything goes south. Time to face the music. Patch me through to the Commissioner. First you tell me it's important, and then you don't show up. Yeah, look, I got sidetracked. Are you still at the cords you gave me? Of course not. I'm on the move again. Tell me your current location, and perhaps we can meet at a convenient point midway. I'm near Aethor, in the Kaid Nebula. Well, I'm not bringing my cruiser in there with those lunatics at large. Meet me at the abandoned jump gate in Zarkov. Don't keep me waiting. You got it. Adam, before you proceed to the Commissioner's location, I would like to request that I accompany you to the meeting. Actually, Tareen, that might not be a bad idea. I think she needs to get the bigger picture on this. Although I think Hawk knows a lot of the DMZ's secrets, an Okar perspective might be what she needs. Why don't you fill me in a little more on the significance of this comet? 
Eshahar is of great importance, and its passage signals the beginning of a season of ritual festivities on our home planets. See what the commissioner has to say about all this. Adam, I must admit I have some trepidation about how events appear to be escalating. As far as I can make out, Hawk is here in a diplomatic and intelligence capacity. We just need to get the word out to keep the peace. you so long, Roslyn. I thought you knew how to navigate the DMZ. You haven't been straight with me about the mission you sent me on, to the Lunar Colony. Well, my mission here is over, and I have no further assignments for you, unless you want to make yourself useful for once and give me something this massage droid cannot. Damn it, Hawk. We know about the sacred comet, and we know its trajectory. You sent me to check how close Blakemore was to finding it. Any violation of the Comet, of Eshahar, would result in the end of any toleration between our races. Yes, I know. Spare me the lecture. Traitor Tarin, the Okar warrior who wanted to be a cleric. Another anomaly of the DMZ. What strange bedfellows you two make. The Okar consider you an outcast. Why do you care whether we go to war? I may have pursued a life of religious contemplation, but I would still fight to protect peace. The return of Eshahar and the discovery that it is in danger 
has reawakened my sense of commitment to my faith and my people. Interesting. And you obviously found Mr. Roslin receptive to your concerns. If it wasn't for you, I'd leave this godforsaken place once and for all. But I also hate unfinished business. And perhaps I underestimated you from the very beginning. Okay, let me fill you in on some of the details. By all appearances, you have found the comet before Blakemore. Unfortunately, the Okar are also aware of his activities. They are preparing a preemptive strike against GMB's lunar colony. That would trigger a war. Indeed. And as it happens, you have found me after appraising the Federal Council of the situation. And they have resolved, quite disappointingly, to let affairs play out on their own. I asked to parlay with Emissary Sarath in order to buy time and allow me to handle GMB myself. However, communications have suddenly ceased. There is a sub-faction of Okar hardliners agitating for war. My suspicions lead me to believe that they have something to do with this. I get the feeling you have the need for another covert operation. You and Tareen might be the key to solving this impasse. It's not like I can go in with a fleet cruiser, guns blazing. This would get me the leverage I need to stop Blakemore. As previously agreed, you would receive full amnesty. You get to keep your base, and you gain free passage out of the DMZ. Tareen, what do you think? Are you up for this? I do not expect to receive much welcome from my kind. I am the errant example that spawnlings are warned of. You're still an Okar. Even if I reach the Emissary, he has no reason to listen to me. But together, he might just be curious enough to hear us out. Perhaps. Of course, whether we can reach the Emissary alive is another question. So, Tareen, what can you tell me about these Okar hardliners? They call themselves Okar Prime. They seek to reclaim all space lost by the arrival of the Colonials. Any opportunity to trigger a new war would suit their purposes perfectly. Their sentiments do not reflect those of the Okar majority, however, who are happy to remain in a separated peace. sent us to make contact with the Okar about the situation. Sit tight. I'll keep you posted. Official. Must be the emissaries. Indeed. It bears the holy insignia. And those force field emitters don't look very peaceful to me. That must be the work of the aforementioned Okar Prime. 
the Commissioner's suspicions have been proven correct. Hailing clerical, Corvette. This is a Colonial Delegation on a diplomatic mission. Your authority, your treaties, your lies, and your filthy presence have no place here. We only wish to speak with Emissary Sareth. We come on behalf of Commissioner Hawk bearing a request. There will be no negotiating. Turn back and keep to your own affairs. You have been warned. We won't leave until we've delivered our message. If your request was death, then we shall be sure to make you satisfied. Tareen, can you provide a distraction while I figure out a way through this force field? You can count on me, Adam. Authorities to let them know a high-ranking official has been taken hostage. They would react, certainly. Perhaps this is a sensible course of action. Well, can't contact them myself. Hive, are you able to access the Corvette's comm system? It appears that it has been disabled. I detect disconnected comms tech floating in the vicinity. If you wish to reactivate the comm system, collect all the associated parts. I will highlight them for you once the force field is down. Okay, yeah. We could use all the help we can get. Even if it's Okar authorities.
system and dispatch an emergency broadcast. This is like the old days of analog. You take a weakling's approach by summoning the authorities to your aid. They're disengaging. This is our chance to get on board. Hailing clerical, Corvette. Do you read me? We are on a diplomatic mission and request access to the emissary. It appears that we must force entry. It may be that the hardliners still have control of the Corvette. You brought a stick to a gunfight? These are dangerous extremists we're taking on here, Tarine. This part must be done the way of the old warrior code. Do not harm the ones in ropes, and stay behind me. Careful. Best keep your blaster holstered. Side of you, I never knew, Tarin. Okar never forgets his training. You are the traitor we've heard of, the one who left the brood to become a menial merchant to the humans. I have become something you cannot understand, and now I will not allow you to stand in the way of peace with the humans. The talk of a coward. You want to settle this the traditional way, after you abandon your chosen path. I am my own master. You are but a slave to the warrior code. I see before me such things as I could not have foreseen. Your Eminence, I am Tareen, and this is my companion, Adam Roslin. Tareen, of course. I am familiar with your story. So, you have decided to return to us? Not exactly. We have come bearing a message from Commissioner Hawk of the Colonial Fleet. Eshahar is under threat from the humans. The Comet is under threat from rogue agents who do not represent us. The Commissioner sent us to plead for more time before an Okar intervention. She sends assurances that this problem can be solved internally among us Colonials. Hmm. You are known to us too, Adam Roslin. Indeed, we have encountered you a number of times in quite a variety of contexts. Tell me, why do you care about the Okar, of whom you have killed so many? I understand there are peaceful elements to your society. I have just never met them before. And of Eshahar, what do you know? I have learned from Tarim that it is sacred to you. Sacred, indeed. The spirits of our ancestors are embedded in its ancient stones. Twice in each generation they pass to share their visions of the past, present, and future. But perhaps you know this. Perhaps you have been touched by Eshahar. Tarim, I commend you and your friend for your noble interference. It was timely. Relate to the Commissioner that the Grand Master shall be informed. And we shall stay our hand, at least for the time being. And Tarim, should you ever wish to return to us, a clerical vocation is still open to you. Thank you, Your Eminence. We will resolve this. You have my word. Your timely intervention may have altered the disastrous course of our shared history. And thanks to the signal you sent, the authorities will be here shortly. I have informed them of your great assistance. It was an honor to be of service. And an honor to meet you. I'll need to update Hawk on the situation. 
Commissioner Hawk, do you read me? I hope it's good news, Mr. Roslin. Your suspicions were correct about hardliners being the reason for the Emissary's radio silence. He was being held hostage. We were able to free him, and he has not been harmed. This suggests tensions between the Elkar castes are intensifying, and could sour already strained relations. For the time being, we've been given assurance that the order will be issued not to attack GNB, as long as GNB do not attempt to touch the comet. The Grandmaster's proclamation on this should guarantee that none will cross that line. I hope so. Although we should not presume to test the Okar's toleration further. GNBs still need to be brought to heel to prevent conflict. what's been going on. Delia, do you read me? Adam, I was just about to contact you. Maddox left the base just a short time ago. There was nothing we could do to stop him. He took Eduardo, too. Damn it, Maddox. He's gonna ruin everything. Just hang tight. We'll come back to base and we'll sort this out.
locked on to me. too much with the natural laws of physics, and the universe is taking its revenge. Your experimentations with these abominable spatial bypasses have led you to your doom. Time to be helpful, Hut. I see we've got company. Multiple craft approaching, seemingly hostile, but I detect no signs of organic life. Okay, so that's not good. Drones? Large, ancient energy pulses are emanating from each ship. They are piloted, but by what, I cannot determine. Wait, you don't think these are the crafts which were pulled into the rifts before? 
Given the diverse origins and ages of each vessel, I would not discount that theory. If the ancient energy has consumed them, maybe they're like late-stage redeemers. Maybe they're already dead. Hold tight, Hive. We can be battling the undead here. I will add that to the outrageous list of enemies you have accumulated. in the vicinity. It could lead back to the DMZ. It's my only option right now. This ain't 
the DMZ? We're just in the next level of heck, aren't we, Hive? Prepare for engagement. More ancient energy craft incoming. Okay, so when did Maddox and Eduardo leave exactly? Only a few hours ago. I'm sorry, Adam. I did try to stop them. But Maddox was so enraged. He was completely out of control. It's not your fault, Delia. The man was watching his big plan unravel and probably couldn't stand it another moment. Kala, can you tell me the comet's current position? It is flying through the Drake system. Hmm. A coalition-controlled area. My guess is that Maddox will try to blast mine the comet at the earliest opportunity. I'll need to head him off before he does any damage. Nothing must happen to Eduardo. Of course not, Kala. I'll be in touch. Keep comms open.
Whatever you're thinking of doing, stop it now. You don't understand what's at stake. Do you read me? <sighs> He's not answering. current reading on the mining freighter belonging to Maddox. Could be they're transmitting the wormhole already. I can't seem to access here. It's closed off. The wormhole isn't open to you right now. I suggest you turn around and go somewhere else. What do you mean? Your coalition? I thought you guys operated this wormhole neutrally. Yeah, well, sometimes there are exceptions, and you, at this moment, are just that. The exception. I get it. Maddox has already been through here and paid you to stall me. Am I right? Maybe you is, maybe you isn't. Either way, you ain't getting through this gate without going through me. Look, I'd rather keep the peace with the Coalition, so I'll just find my own way around you. <laughs> You can try. Where there's a will, there's a way. I can surely open this gate with some imagination. something through these vents and force it open?
die already. Nothing like a little bit of bloodlust to stir the spirit. So you jimmied the gate. Very impressive. But there's no way you're getting past me. Do the Coalition even know what you're up to here? I bet they wouldn't react well to you controlling access for your own personal gain. Well, then I had better make sure that you don't report that back to them. Did Max really pay you enough to put your life on the line? Hey, I gotta make ends meet. I need the creds. Bad career move, buddy. You had one task to keep this transit point operational, and you got cocky with this.
think you're a hot shot fighter? Let's see how you deal with this. Wow, well, this is retro. You've got to be kidding. I warned you. Damn, that packed a punch. You can always turn around and go your merry way. I told you, this wormhole is closed to you. about my little side operation here. That change of heart just saved your life, but your delays may have cost others theirs. Maddox, stop whatever you're doing. Don't lead anyone to the comet. The comet? You're more concerned about that cursed thing than my ass getting shot off? How typical. Jeebus, I wish I'd never set eyes on you, Adam. You messed this all up for me. Too late.
working for GMB this whole time, were you? How could I have let myself fall for this? Maddox, wait. No, you, you misunderstand. The Elite Squad has already docked with the freighter and boarded it. Eduardo must still be on there, but the comms are blocked. Wait, uh, I just saw you with those Elites boarding the freighter. How are you out here at the same time? Intercepted the freighter. Maddox is dead. And Eduardo, where is he, Nama? I'm checking the freighter. Proceeding to the bridge now. I found him. I went digging in his head for the memory module. Ben, you there? I need some remote diagnostics. Right, right here, buddy. Looks fairly critical. Let's see if a reboot works. Adam, but you killed me. Nama, why would Adam kill you, Eduardo? Wait, hold on. Let's just unravel this. Eduardo, were your databanks compromised? The comet trajectory has been obtained, but you would know this, Adam. You're the one who took it. Mind telling us what this is all about, Adam? We're starting to get a little lost here. There's something you should all know that I... Should have told you before. I am a military clone. One of the few left after cloning was abolished. That's why I've had the fleet on my tail. One of my clone brothers made top rank of GNB's elite squad. Commissioner Hawk pressed me into working undercover, posing as him. Now he's tracked us down, got everything GNB needs to exploit the comet. So you're saying that one of your clone brothers killed Maddox and Eduardo? I'm not quite dead yet. Your revelations do explain many things about you over the time I have known you. I knew you had a secret. What is a clone, Nama? Huh, now I know how you kept escaping death when I saw you blow up. You really died! Right now, the only important thing is informing Hawk that GNB got the trajectory of the comet. Let's bring you home, buddy. Eduardo, I need you to go into hibernation mode right now to preserve your functionality. It was your clone who did this to me. GNB must have installed sensors at the wormhole. When they
they detected a Viridium freighter. They knew that it was us in search of the comet, and they sent the Elite Squad to intercept. Powering down now. Hive, patch me through to the Commissioner. What do you have to report? We've entered the worst case scenario. Maddox led G and the Elite right to the comet and got himself killed in the process. Damn it, Roslyn. Couldn't you keep better control of your people? Hey, Blake Moore is about to trigger a war. A new conflict in the DMZ would suit him perfectly, and be just what he needs to claim regional autonomy from the colonial authorities in GNB. Sounds like he's going rogue from the company. The colonial authorities won't intervene in this matter, as they see it as GNB internal affairs. So it looks as if I'll have to take care of this matter myself and stop him with whatever executive authority I can muster. You're just one cruiser against a whole base. Do you have an alternative? Let me think. There's no time. Fallon Pengo. The Bovis hacker? I know of him. Nothing good. How do you think he could help? He has malware. Disruptive tech beyond anything I've seen before. Maybe even powerful enough to ground the entire GNB mining fleet. Even if you could somehow get this Pengo character to play along, how the hell would you spread this malware on Vesna? Well, if you still have your agent on the inside, Tammy, we could crack the place open and sabotage the ships where they're docked. Any plan is worth a try. Go and see what your hacker contact can provide. But be quick. I can't wait much longer. Panko, you read me? I need your help. I gathered from your conversation with the Commissioner that you were about to ask me about certain disruptive technology in my possession. What? You know? I mean, of course you know. Unfortunately, this was a unique transmission prototype called a mainframe disruptor, which I have already sold. I could allow you to try to track the purchaser down and bargain for it in a civil manner. His location is unknown to me, although I do know he is a regular customer at the Coalition shop in the Drake system. Seems like a tenuous link. If you were to pay the shop a visit, I could engage with their systems through yours, and see what I can extrapolate from his visits there. That's all I've got to go on right now. Let's give it a try. Hey, Hive, before we go, I don't want anyone else stumbling across this rig and getting any grand ideas about Viridium mining. What do you have in mind? Can you trigger those bombs the Elite Squad left on the freighter remotely? With pleasure. Please attain some distance while I detonate the onboard explosives. I guess that's the end of the grand dream. I was a fool to think things could be as easy as one big job. Conquistadors of antiquity, burning their ships on the shore, come to mind with such a display. Yeah, well, no need to get all poetic about it, Hive. Let's get going. I'm at the Coalition shop. I don't really have the time to hang around and wait for this guy to show up. I don't expect you to. If you would kindly dock with the shop, I could attempt to penetrate their database and extract a triangulation of their client's approach and drop locations. You must act as a decoy while I initiate a security override. You need me to provide a distraction. 
Stall for time. Make small talk, and I'll be able to hack their network via your systems. I suppose I'm not being given a say in this. Welcome to the Coalition Store. What can I do you for? Just keep them occupied while I link to their systems in the background. Uh, yeah. Do you stock beans here by any chance? We got beans of all varieties. What's your pick? Oh, well, uh, what are my choices? Well, we got pinto beans, and refried beans, and garbanzo and black beans. Then there's your standard beans and your kidney beans, white and red. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Any, uh, any other types? Well, we got stocks of the less popular fava, mung beans, and Asazi, Lima, flagellate, haricot. Keep them talking. I'm nearly through. Wow, that is quite a selection. Or is there more? Look, are you seriously interested in purchasing beans, or are you just in the business of hearing me listen off names of beans? Oh, I am all into beans all right in fact i'm in the market for a few crates to keep the uh crew back on base happy i just need to find the right sort because we also got your standard soybeans then there's a lentil and pea varieties Ooh, do tell me more well your green lentil is regarded as a bean and is pretty versatile i'm through i have the flight records i need great um let me consider my options and um i'll get back to you thanks <laughs> Damn time waster. the location of your client? An approximation. The data I read indicates that he has spent most of his time just inside the Drake system, transferring coordinates to you. What can you tell me about this guy? Only that he is a somewhat secretive individual who appears to be avoiding his debtors. He goes by the moniker Ghost. Well, with a name like that, he surely doesn't want to be found. I learned that he had accumulated some sizable losses at the gambling tables. Although he did pay hard creds for the mainframe disruptor and attempted no trickery, I had informed him that the device was as yet largely unproven, but he seemed intent on field testing it for himself. I guess the guy at least sounds reasonable. Let's hope he's willing to do business.
guy picked a hell of a place to hide out. Hell being the operative word. If there's someone calling himself Ghost in the area, could you please open a channel? Fallon Pango sent me. I'd like to discuss some trade. No answer. Could this really be the right place? I mean, who would stay here? There is the faintest signal of a life form below the surface. I cannot locate the exact position, but allow me to point you in the general direction. Okay, let's check it out. this individual you seek, that he does not wish to communicate. But it is also probable that he is not even here, and the life sign I am registering is a native species. There is movement of a life sign. Caution advised. this. Lives hang in the balance. Please, take my word for it. I need that device to stop a war from breaking out. The life sign has moved again. Let's see if we can coax him out of his hole. Why is it that every time I need to get someone on my side, I have to go through some rigmarole? It is the universe's way of reminding you that you bring nothing but trouble.
back off. This is our bounty. Wait, no, I I'm here on a friendly visit. Hang on, are we even talking about the same person? The deadbeat who calls himself Ghost. Who else would come out this far to dodge what he owes? Hmm, yeah, well, interesting story, but I'm gonna have to ask you to hold off until I've had a word with him first. A private matter. Besides, I was here before you. Our business takes precedence. Back off or we open fire. It always comes to this. A little courtesy and understanding could prevent so much violence. You didn't leave these goons here, did you? Or should I thank you for the intervention? By the way, you being here gives me the time to get the jump on them. Ah, so you're a ghost. I don't think I led these guys here, just bad timing. But you and me really need a word. Yeah, I heard you earlier. I got the disruptor, but to be honest, I don't know you from Adam. Who are you anyway? I'm a guy on a very important mission. Well, guy, you want to talk, you help me get out of this alive. There's quite a lot of these jerks. You must owe a fortune to warrant such a mob. My unlucky streak at the tables was no accident. Or manufactured. I was set up, is what I'm saying. The cards were manipulated. Just keep them busy while I prepare my grand entrance. If we're to trust each other, you need to tell me your real name. Actually, it really is Adam. Adam Rosslin. Adam Roslin? I lost happily a poker to a guy with that name years back. But I saw him die. Well, couldn't have been me then. But, uh, I kind of have a complicated family tree. Anyway, I have the mainframe disruptor. I've been fine-tuning it out here. Let's test it out on these goons. Bring down their shields so I can disable their crafts. Just bring down their shields? Yep. Let me do the rest. That's the way to do it. something will turn up. You seem like a resourceful guy to me. Thanks, that's encouraging. That was the last of them. Can we dock and have that word now? Uh, seeing as you were a help, I should hear you out. I'll be needing that mainframe disruptor. I'm willing to pay. No can do. This really isn't about the creds. With my hideout gone, it's the only ace I got left, so sorry. The device stays with me. Hmm. Pengo tells me you were straight up with him in trade. 
Let me ask you a few things. Where do you stand with Gene B? Can't stand him. You know of Oscar Blakemore? <laughs> An absolute maniac. What if I was to tell you that he's about to trigger a conflict with the Okar, which will end up jeopardizing every colonial settler in the cluster? Sounds like his M.O. all right. At least the man I know from reputation. Well, it's for that I need the Disruptor. I intend to ground his mining fleet. A bold move. Alone? Well, maybe not. I got someone on the inside, but I could use any help I can get. And you seem like a competent person in possession of the tools I need. I could also offer you a place you could temporarily lay low. It's a noble cause. I suppose it's one I could get behind. And I got nowhere else to go right now. Count me in. Look, Ghost, is that your real name? Quentin Briggs. But I really prefer Ghost. It's how I operate. Okay, Ghost. If I take a chance on you, I don't want to end up regretting it. You won't. But if you want this disruptor to work on larger mining craft, we'll need to find some way to reduce the cooldown between bursts. The thing needs specific tuning. Pango didn't get that far in development. I got someone who can take a look at it. Let's meet at my base and I can introduce you to the others. Hey, I can trust you, right? I don't leave my people behind. Come on, I don't have time to lose. Hive, patch me through to the Commissioner. I better keep her appraised. Hawk, I have a mainframe disruptor which might turn the tables in our favor. I've seen it in action and it does what it says on the box, but it needs some modifications to reduce the time it needs between uses. That is positive news. I have received intel that the GNB elite squad are in the Byron system, quite far off, leaving Vesna with little more than automated defenses. So if there was ever a time to strike, now would be it. Hmm. I wonder what the elites are doing so far from home. Okay, any idea on how to proceed? There are a number of mining vessels on the surface. Once you disable them, Tammy can get you access to the interior hangars in order to destroy their viridium drills and other mining equipment. I must demand that you prevent casualties. These are innocent miners. Of course. Understood. Once you have knocked out their operational capacity, I will make my appearance and read the Riot Act. That will be a moment to see. Listen, Adam. I've spoken with the Emissary, and he is running out of options to quiet the drums of war in the Okar camp. I can't stress the urgency of our actions much more. I get how critical all of this is. I won't let you down. Delia, Ben, guys, I'm heading back to base with company. I'll be able to offer a full briefing once I'm there. It would be about time you dropped off Eduardo. Kala is very anxious to see him. He's safe and sound on board. I'll also need Ben to take a look at a disruptor device I picked up. I'll be there shortly.
Hi, everyone. I'd like to introduce you to Ghost. Pleasure to meet you all. Nice to see some pretty faces for a change. He is in possession of a mainframe disruptor, which we are hoping to use to ground the GNB mining fleet. The idea is to cause enough chaos on the Vesna mining colony so that Blakemore can't move on the Comet and Commissioner Hawk can stage a lawful intervention. Ghost and I need to do this ASAP, while the Elite Squad are out of the system. It'll be a quick in and out operation with only automated defenses to worry about. Sounds audacious. Audacious is my middle name, sweetheart. You call me sweetheart one more time and I'll... Oh, yeah, okay, so uh, I should explain, Ghost. Uh, Delia here is quite handy with a trank dart gun, so I would stay on her good side. Wait! None of this clarified anything for me. Catch me up here, I'm still really confused. Our operation is about protecting the people who live in the DMZ, Alec, including your whole family. If war breaks out, a lot of people would die, and all just to make Blakemore more powerful and untouchable. Okay, I can agree that sounds bad. I took a look at that disruptor, and it seems I'll be able to tweak the cooldown without a problem. Not entirely sure for how long it could keep a ship demobilized, however. Thanks, Ben. I'd like to ask you all to stay on high alert while we carry this mission out. Keep an eye out for G&B scouts. I'm not quite sure whether they know where we are, but we need to keep a low profile anyway. They appear to be stretched thin, but they're not a spent force yet. I believe the majority of us here want to see Crisis diverted. Thank you, Adam, for your efforts. This will all be over soon enough. I'm pretty confident of that. <laughs> 